Texas up next this week, Josh. And all right, I, I gave you, I teed you up before the break. <laughs> Only two current drivers have multiple wins at Texas. Yeah, can I uh, can I phone a friend? Phone I, a friend, I, uh, Davey. You're on the line. Uh, I heard you got the answer to this one. Oh man, I feel like this is Friday on Sirius XM on track. <laughs> Larry McNuggets quizzing me. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and take a stab and say, and I'm not counting Jimmy Johnson. Because uh, he's in the field this week. Kyle yeah. Bush is one. I should have had that one. Okay. Um, Martin Truex Jr.? Nope. Denny Hamlin. Uh, that was my next uh, one. Kyle <laughs> Bush. Kyle Bush has got four. Hamlin has three. Mm. Truex has never won there. Hmm. How about that? Bush has like Sorry, you found the wrong friend, Josh. Hey, yeah, you got one out of two. It's better than what I would have got. And it's funny, this morning on our call, we talked about how Kyle Bush has like 19 total wins through the three series there. Completely forgot about all that. I see. You see how now you remember. It's all yeah. good. Information doesn't what do you stick. Do? I asked Jimmy Johnson once. I said, what do you do with all these cowboy hats? I said, how many cowboy hats can you have at one place with all those guns? <laughs> That's what you want your daughters hanging around with a bunch of guns in the house. <laughs> But, I mean, here we are, Texas. It, it's what they learned. If they learned anything with this car last year, throw it out because it will not be hot as the face of the sun like it was last year. Yeah. <laughs> and when they ran there in October, completely different weather. I mean, it's going to be – it's almost like a new track for them. Yeah. And, like, it's funny rewatching the race from last year and you're just looking – at the track and the lack of grip and the amount of cautions we had in that race. And, you know, then I checked the temperature. I was like, is it going to be like that? And I'm, I'm sure it probably won't this early in the year. Uh, but, but yeah, you, you'd expect it to be a different kind of race. And to that point, you, you talked about the fact that, you know, William Byron got the win there last year, but it, it's going to be a little bit different. And we've had, what, what I'm trying to think, I go back to the Larry McNugget we had on our call this morning. And what is it? The last, Seven races here. We've had seven different winners. I could be wrong about that stat, but um, I'll, I'll throw it out there and hope I'm right. So to that <laughs> point, you're you're looking at it and saying like, well, what we saw in the fall is most likely not going to be what we see here in the spring in this race. So you you could take you know the information we saw in the fall and obviously use it a little bit, but I I think we're looking at another situation where you go into it and saying, yeah, William Byron won there in the fall. He's hot right now, but. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if it's, it's it's another driver. And one I look at is, you know, we just talked about the Blue Ovals uh, and their struggles. But, you know, Ryan Blaney is a guy that he won the all-star race there. I know it's it's a different race. It was the all-star race a couple of years ago. Um, but, you know, he's a guy that's run well there. Uh, a, a guy that I look at this weekend as maybe this is his little coming out party. And uh, I, I think we're going to see a, a different race, like I mentioned, than we did in the fall, but uh, a, a different winner as well. Uh, the last Blue Oval to win there would be Kevin Harvick in the fall of 2019. Mm. And the last time we ran a spring race there, uh, Denny Hamlin won. Uh-huh. And that was in 2019 also. In the meantime, we've run, uh, let's see. Let's see, we've run one, two, three, four, five races on the face of the sun. <laughs> <laughs> a July and a couple of Octobers and a couple of December, no, Septembers and, yeah. Now, this will be easier on the fans, that's for sure, Davey. <laughs> Definitely, yeah. There's something to be said for that, too, especially given that this date for Texas Motor Speedway has shifted around a little bit, and let's make no bones about it, right? Texas has been much maligned for the last handful of years since the reconfiguration and reprofiling of it kind of happened. You know, you made turns one and two way wider, but in a way, you actually narrowed it up. And even though the the surface itself is so wide, you only have – one lane or maybe even half a lane at some points that you can really run on. I think somebody though, guys that I'm looking at is Bubba. I mentioned it earlier. He dominated this race in the playoffs last year. And if it wasn't for a, a late race restart gone haywire for him, and he took the blame for, we could be talking about Bubba Wallace making the next round. And who knows what would have happened at that point in terms of what the championship four may have looked like. So I know it's not a Ford, and I think Blaney's stats here, Josh, to your point, are really, really good, and I think this could be a really ripe opportunity for the 12 team. But I'm looking at the 23 as well. Momentum is a real thing. I think it's a tangible thing, and specifically for Bubba, who kind of gets high and kind of gets low a lot of times. We know that he's a bit of an emotional guy. I think that this matters, and I think the fact that he's going back here trying to avenge what he kind of gave away last year, I think that matters too. So. I'll go out on a limb. Why not? Give me Bubba Wallace to win on Sunday. I'm doing it. Go ahead. 
That's right. Hey, <laughs> Bubba was the pole sitter, and uh, I think if I remember correctly on the Netflix uh, feature, this was the race that uh, that Booty didn't want to talk to the Netflix guys <laughs> yeah. afterwards. He basically took the yeah. microphone off and said, "I'm done. <laughs> Don't ask hard, me any more sure. questions." Yeah, yeah. It was a tough one, actually. Very, very tough for those guys.